Hi, this morning, good morning to you. Welcome you on our Dakshna YouTube channel, and it's nice interacting with you. Thank you for giving the time for this short interaction session. Hi. Thanks, thanks for having me here. I'm very glad to like, come back to Dakshna and talk this with you. Uh, basically, your your journey uh, right from Navodaya, then Dakshna, after that IIT, then Goldman Sachs, and now PhD from New York. So it's really very inspiring for the students. First of all, I, I would like to start from the present. Where are you and what you are doing right now? I'm currently in New York. Uh, I'm pursuing my PhD in Applied Math and Statistics from Stony Brook University which is like State University of New York. I've joined in 2019, so it's been like three and a half years in, from a PhD. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Before uh, joining PhD, you, you have worked in India for three years. So how you thought about going for higher studies? Because when we are working here, sometimes there is a thought that it's better to continue the work. Sometimes it's okay that we should take a break and go for higher studies. So what were the reason which inspired you to go for higher studies? So in India, uh, I worked at Goldman Sachs as an analyst. I always wanted to like get into finance industry, like more on the like, research side and the investment side of finance. While I was working at Goldman, my work was mostly on the software development side. It had little finance and quantitative side of finance, but it was mostly like software side. So when I inquired about like multiple future career opportunities on the research side in finance. I thought having a master's or a PhD degree, preferably a PhD degree would help me uh, to get into like a quant role in a hedge fund where I can have my own portfolio, I can manage my own portfolio. So I think that is the major drive. So I applied for most of the, like I had two options to up, either go for master's or PhD, but compared to master's, I think giving like four to five years and uh, doing some more research and understanding the markets would help me in a long term. So I applied for PhD in finance and PhD in applied maths. Uh, so I got into Stony Brook University's applied math PhD program and my major focus here is quantitative finance, which is mostly like application of like mathematical models for finance. I think, uh, yeah, as I come here, I see more opportunities opening up for me because of like hedge funds in New York's investment banks, like quant researcher roles. So that was the main motivation behind this. Okay. One thing that uh, without being any gender biased in general, uh, the general uh, thought of uh, sometime of some of the girls are that uh, when I'm thinking for career in mathematics, it may be quite tough for me. Don't know why, but sometimes they, they used to think but you have done your BTEC in mathematics and computing and after that working with Goldman Sachs. So how is your experience and what message you would like to give to the girls uh, who have little bit of the hesitation with reference to their mathematics subject? I think there's always, there's a stereotype that girls can't do maths. Like girls are more into like biology or arts kind, but that's completely not true. It's just a stereotype. Uh, I have seen a lot of girls in in my maths and computing department in IIT Guwahati, I've seen a lot of women in Goldman Sachs. I've seen a lot. I've I see a lot of women in do, doing PhD in applied maths and statistics here in Stony Brook. So I don't think it's 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 up to you. Like if you are interested in maths, just go for it. So while even while picking uh, my undergrad program, like I had like civil like other engineering degrees versus this maths and computing was pretty new. Uh, back in 2012, but I was always interested in math and finance because of Monish search on those lectures. I was very curious at that time. So I thought this will be maths, computer science and finance would be a good combination. So yeah, I was always into maths, so I went for it. Okay, nice, nice. So um, as we are discussing maths and biology, so when when you were in ninth and tenth standard, at that point of time, there was a thought that you will be going for medical because there is so many issues in the engineering field. And later on, uh, uh, a lot of information of Dakshna uh, helped you to think about engineering background again. So, what was that story? Would you like to give a little bit uh, light on that? Right? You have mentioned in your scholar form <laughs> that uh, all this happened. So, what what actually it was? Now, would like to hear from you. 
during my high school, like even eighth, ninth, tenth, I was kind of against engineering because everyone was doing engineering. I was like, no, I I want to become a doctor. Even in eleventh, twelfth, I I I took biology, but because of Dakshina, I had like more uh, access to maths, physics, chemistry, like a JE coaching. So it pushed me, and also I had interactions with a lot of seniors, Dakshina seniors who who went to IIT, came back, uh, and spoke to us. So it was kind of very inspirational to know how life in IIT would be. Uh, till then, I had no idea on what IIT was or what how is it different from other engineering colleges. Uh, so I had a lot of misconceptions about engineering. But yeah, once I get into Dakshina, I got into Dakshina program I, when I spoke to our seniors or like Dakshina mentors. Yeah, my all the misconceptions went away, and it was like it's it's really engineering is really fun. So. Oh, nice, nice. How oh, uh, what message is there for those girls who, who are in their ninth class, tenth class, eleventh or twelfth, and they have the confusion that whether to go for uh, engineering or uh, medical? What's your take on that? I think they should go like whatever they're interested in. They should just pursue it. Like not listen to anyone. People say a lot of things. People say girls can't do engineering. Girls can't do math. Girls can't do uh, anything related to like engineering side. They should probably pursue like medicine, like because it's easier for girls to like I don't know memorize things. That's all random uh, nonsense. I think they should, if they like math or if they like engineering, they just they should just go for it. Or if they like biology, then go, just go for medicine. So I think it's like ni- the high school is an age where people talk a lot and you tend to get influenced a lot. But I think. You should take all the advice you can, but at the end of the day, you should do what feels right for you. So, uh, without any hesitation, just go for it. I think it'll, in long term, you'll be very satisfied with whatever choice you've taken. Okay, good, good. Talking about your uh, family, uh, it's all to say that uh, only your mother has uh, born and brought up. Can you tell about your father uh, up to which year, up to which class he was with you? Yeah, so my father passed away after my 10th standard, like summer or holidays of 10th standard, just be- just before I joined Dakshina. Uh, okay. Yeah, after that, yeah, it was just my mo- mother and me. So at that time, uh, how tough it was for your mother to uh, support you as well as for you to begin emotional trauma and then in the meantime preparing for JE for competitive exam. How you balanced that situation? Yeah, so after 10th, usually people go for coaching outside, right? So, and it's like financially a little difficult if you want to like afford any coaching, medical or uh, uh, engineering. So, I had to go back to uh, Navodaya, which is Javanodaya Dela Varangal, my parent Navodaya. Then I prepared a little bit for Dakshina exam. Uh, it used to be in August when I wrote it. And it gave me a little time to like uh, prepare because I got to know, I had seniors from my Varangal Navodaya in Dakshina. And uh, I heard that it is a really good program because it's again in Navodaya environment with uh, with teachers from outside giving coaching. And it's like, there's not much change, but you can still get access to JE. So regarding preparation and all, it was a little difficult, but... At the end of the day, again, it was a, uh, in, I had my coaching in Navodaya, uh, Hyderabad, Gachiboli, Jivanagar Dele, and the teachers there were very supportive. Even the, we had Sharmila ma'am uh, back then who used to visit very often and it was very supportive environment in all forms, not just JE coaching, but also like rest of the 11th, 12th standard. Um, so it was very supportive. Okay, yeah, right, right. And uh, how how tough it was for your mother to manage the family expenses and other requirements? At... So, uh, how many siblings uh, do you have? I uh, mean, actual requirement at that point of time, what was the household requirement? Uh, how mother was managing those things? My, my mom, uh, my mom used to work as a teacher back then. I don't have any siblings. I'm the only child. So, how much can we make in terms of uh, monetary value? Yeah, monetary term, like uh, father is not there and for any mother, uh, like, uh, so she, she was residing in urban area or rural area? Uh, it was, uh, it was a town, kind of urban area in Varangal. Okay. 
Okay. She used to be a teacher, then she moved to uh, a different uh, government job in you know, Transport Corporation. It was manageable because like my education is all like sponsored. Now with their direction, everything, it was kind of manageable for me. Okay, great, great. So, uh, how much uh, important you feel the uh, role of Dakshna in your uh, professional career at that point of time, at that interval? 11-12? Uh, right, right. Okay, I, I think without Dakshna, I, I wouldn't have gotten into like IIT Gauhati for sure. I chose the department I like and that helped like before and after IIT is completely different. I got it. I got a good job, and even at IIT, I had like different experiences, like cultural meets, post meet, and everything. Like my entire perspective changed in those four years, and it gave me huge leap in my profession because, like for example, like example, I joined Goldman after uh, IIT, and Goldman doesn't hire from any other colleges. It only goes to IITs and few NITs. It's really like very reputable. MNC and getting that on my resume really helped to me to get into PhD and like where I am right now. So I think Dakshna is a huge role for me to kickstart my career, professional career. Okay, great, great. And uh, would you like to remember some of your professor from IIT who's, uh, who helped you a lot or whose role is very inspiring in your life? Yeah, so there are a couple of professors in my department who were like, who taught like finance and like mathematical finance. Uh, Professor Selvaraju, who is uh, my BTEC project advisor, Professor Natishan, he taught us very, like he taught us from financial mathematics, which actually inspired me to get in more into uh, a research of finance. Uh, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. So once you started working with Goldman, whenever any child coming for this uh, job, so he or she has certain uh, priorities. So what was your priority order like in terms of uh, some visits for the parents or uh, buying a new house or going for some work? Uh, in which order you, you started your professional finances? Uh, like when uh, okay. well, I, I like this question. Uh, so after joining Goldman, uh, I always wanted to buy a house. So okay. like we didn't inherit anything from my grandparents, like nothing from like old money. So I helped my mom to buy an apartment in Warangal. Now she lives there. So um, and yeah, that was my utmost priority before getting anything else for me. So yeah. Okay. That's very nice. And congratulations. That Thank you. For, a lot for your mother. And uh, what was your GPA uh, at the time of uh, passing from IIT? Oh, <laughs> it was not good. So my CG was 7.5. Okay. But the sums okay, not so bad. <laughs> I, I tried. Ha. Okay, right, right. And second also, a little bit personal question, but maybe uh, you may say that in terms of range also. That at the time of leading Goldman, uh, what was your CTC range or which profile you worked last week uh, with Goldman? Oh, I was, I was on, I was a kind of senior analyst. So I joined as an analyst, as a senior analyst while I was leaving. So my CTC include. I mean, so range only we would like to know. <laughs> Not exactly. That vision of okay. Goldman. Senior analyst, so what is the CTC range for senior analyst in India? So when I, so the range varies a lot because people join with same salary. So they join, when I joined, it was like 30, uh, CTC, 30 lakhs per annum is CTC. But as we grow, like the variable part, which is 7 lakhs, 21 lakhs is base and 7 lakhs is a bonus part. So every year that 7 lakhs changes and 21 lakhs may uh, increase based on the performance. So as a senior analyst, I would say the range would go from like 45 to 60. Okay. We will take a little bit average of those numbers for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So after uh, working with Goldman, uh, possibly when you were shifting for PhD, uh, I don't know about your mother opinion, but in general, when an Indian girl is thinking of higher studies or leaving a job, 
many a time parent will inspire her will try to convince her that now you can start your family life while you are pursuing yeah. while you are dealing so what was uh, your status at that point of time a uh, strong mother or from some relatives what was the situation that time yeah my mom was always supportive she is like if you want to do phd do it but all my relatives like my close family my mom sisters and brothers uh, they were little hesitant because i when i came to stony brook i, I was like 24 so that's like the typical age where girls get married and phd is like 4 to 5 years so it is a long commitment and they push uh, i convinced them i would get married in between phd but <laughs> it's not <laughs> happening <laughs> and it's and i just want to graduate get a nice job and then figure out yeah there are a lot of pressures for girls usually to get married and all but i think if you don't want to do in in terms of the career perspective you don't want to do what you want to do you will regret a lot later so i've seen like there are people who do phd or like go for hi- higher studies even after they get married uh nothing against them but uh, i thought i couldn't do it i want to like finish everything studying everything get a job and then start a family <laughs> okay nice so a- any particular clue or some idea for any student either boy or girl uh, who want to stop his career through higher studies and parents and family members close relatives are this rising him to uh, go on other direction to start it <laughs> so something that he or she should uh, pursue to be a relative and family members i don't know if it's masters then you can just convince them saying that it's it's like one and a half year two years and then you'll get like plenty of opportunities in us or even if you go back to india there are a lot of opportunities if it's phd then it's little difficult because i have seen people from my batch in dakshina who are pursuing phd so the thing the thing with uh, people from navodaya's or dakshna is most of the people they would have family who've done graduation or anything like masters or phd post graduation or phd so they don't understand most of my friends who are from dakshna doing the phd they're the first ones to get into a phd program or the first ones to do a masters program so being a first one is always difficult because you have to convince everyone and it's it's always easy for the second and the rest of the people because you already set an example but it's difficult but i think it's worth the shot you know if you you want to do it just do it okay okay so any uh messages or thoughts or opinion that you would like to say to our founder monis sir anything from your side i don't have any opinion but i have a message uh, i would like to thank monish pobra to like to i've been doing that for like last 12 years it's been 12 years to join dakshna so uh, thank you sir for creating dakshna and giving like life to people a lot of people like me there's been uh, like life completely changed because of dakshna uh, getting into iit or getting into a good job a uh, lot of things changed for me and for my, for my family so thanks a lot Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Jisma, for uh, interacting with us and giving you valuable time. It was nice interacting with you. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you for having me.